Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite tropes which is the innocent or a virgin hero trope. I've actually made two previous videos I believe for my channel members with this trope um, just because I tried to keep this channel more like PG when I was working at a school but now that I work for myself I kind of am letting myself be a little more open Okay, um, so here are 10 recommendations um, with the virgin hero trope, which I love. First, I have Pestilence by Laura Thalassa. This is a like paranormal post-apocalyptic romance. So we have the one of the four horsemen of the apocalypse coming to earth, spreading plague everywhere, killing everyone. The heroine deemed to try and kill him. Um, save for people, try and kill him. So everyone basically travels to a different city and she's gonna stay in her city and try and kill him. She does it, she blows him up, kills him. Um, but she does not know that this man cannot die. Like he regenerates after he dies. He can feel the pain, can feel himself dying. It is excruciating, but he can come back to life. And when he comes back to life, he decides to make this woman's life a living hell, like brings her along, keeps her alive while he kills everyone else. So she's basically forced to watch him kill the human race. And it is awful. But these two end up falling in love with each other through this, which is absolutely bizarre, I know, but they, they can't help it. They cannot help it. The hero's never been with anyone, has never kissed anyone, knows nothing about women. The heroine kind of like teaches him some stuff, so very fun. <laughs> I have two novellas too. Uh, I have When the Farmer Met the City Girl by Jessica Kane. The heroine's car breaks down on the side of a road in front of this farm and the hero is like, okay, you can come like stay with me for the night. Um, they don't know each other by the way before this, but he's like, I promise I'm not a creep. You can stay with me for the night. Your car's broken down. Like, please don't sleep in your car. And yeah, he, he don't know nothing, <laughs> but he's really sweet and really cute. So this one was really fun, but Jessica Kane's books are bonkers. So just like know that before you go in, like they're bonkers. And then I also have Whole Lotta Grump by Cassie Mint. This one's really fun. Our heroine is hired to give the hero massages every week. And he's known for being this like bad A grumpy boss man who like gets things done. And um, yeah, she's hired to give him massages every week, but they also have like this angsty tension between the two of them while she's giving him massages and it's so hot. But yeah, I was definitely shocked. The heroine was definitely shocked to know that the hero had actually never been with anybody like before he wanted to be with her. He's like, you're you're it for me, that's it. I have some alien ones. This is Alien Protectors Mate by Melissa Emerald. This is the first book in her Fated Mates of the Winged Barbarian series. Essentially, it's kind of like IPV human women get kidnapped from Earth and their spaceship crashes on this good planet, but there are no women there at all. So our alien creatures are kind of like, have like sparkly skin and wings and tails and they've never seen women before in their life so obviously all of them are virgins <laughs> so uh yeah that's essentially what the series is and it kind of reminds me of ipv but in like different ways next i have a soul to heal by opal rain this is a monster romance i know it's very thick but it is so worth it it's so good i do believe you should read these books in order because there's a lot of world building in book number one um and we actually meet our hero in book number one so um this takes place in a world that has humans, demons, and dusk walkers. So humans are rare because demons eat the humans and the more humans they consume, the more powerful they get. So humans need like spells and protections from dusk walkers, which is what our hero here is, who perform like magic and stuff. Like they give them something in exchange for protecting their city. Anyway, so our heroine, Dolora, she is going through a rough time. She literally is like, I don't care whether or not I live or die. She found her husband cheating on her and ended up, I think, killing one of them or both of them. I don't know, but she like is not in a good place right now. And her people basically throw her off of a cliff in retaliation. And she lands on top of our hero, who is this dust walker creature, who's a fairly innocent minded one. Um, because again, the more demons and humans that these dust walkers eat, the more attributes they take on those people that includes like mind attributes. So this is a fairly new dust walker, so he hasn't consumed a lot of people. So he's not very smart because he doesn't have a lot of brains to him because he hasn't eaten a lot of brains. <laughs> I know it's weird, but it's actually really good. Okay, so um, the hero ends up nursing this heroine back to health, even though she literally does not care whether or not she lives or dies. Like she's going through a lot of mental health stuff in here. So please be aware. The hero doesn't know anything about women. There's nothing about 
that okay um so the heroine kind of has to like help him understand what's going on with him and his body and everything so yeah it's an interesting monster romance i've never read anything like it that's for sure next i have a worst guy by ruby dixon this is an alien monster romance this takes place on a planet that is very prevalent in ruby verse this takes place on Rista three and our heroine's actually on the back of this special edition as you can see um she on earth was actually i believe a caseworker she helped people with making families and living their best life essentially but she feels very lost on Rista 3 because a lot of the human refugees on Rista 3 are like farmers they run farms and ranches and she's like that's not really what i like to do and so the people on the planet decide to like help her find her calling and they're like okay there's this new alien who's come to the planet but he's very hostile and we don't know how to help him can you get to know him better and figure out like what he needs like we want to let him out of like the cell that he's in and reintroduce into society but he is so violent like we don't know what's going on and so she's tasked to basically get to know him and learn more about him and to help him and figure out what he needs that's basically it the hero is actually oh i can't say that's a spoiler um but oh, i can't say that but anyway i'm just gonna say he is innocent he's never been with anybody he knows nothing about that stuff like the last one so um yeah and our heroine is more than happy to teach him some things. The Fae King's Prize by Jamie Schlosser is my next one. This is a fantasy read. This is the third book in the series and this comes from a um, fantasy romance series where in this Fae realm, princes have been cursed by witches to be blind until they find their fated mate. The hero has been outcasted from his family because he is actually a griffin shifter and his father definitely did not approve of that because of some things i don't want to spoil things and ruin the reading experience obviously um but anyway he's not very loved by his family he kind of grows up not in the best situation and women didn't really want him because of certain things and um he was also kind of waiting for his fated mate this whole time as well so the heroine is a human woman from earth who gets like taken by evil people from earth through a portal to be sold <laughs> to be sold in this fantasy world which is illegal so the hero has kind of gone undercover to figure out who these human smugglers are because he does not think it's right whatsoever and so he's at the auction to where they're gonna sell the evil evil they are gonna sell these human women and um he is able to sense that his mate is near and like he's obviously also there by the way to take them down he's not there to like buy someone <laughs> um he's there to take down this illegal slavery um anyway he's able to sense that this woman is his faded mate and he's like oh my gosh so that's basically it that's kind of like the beginning of it so it's really good i do recommend reading the series in order though another alien one is taken to nobu by elizabeth stevens we have a hero that literally like just didn't be wasn't with anyone we have a hero that just wasn't with anyone because he was waiting for his fated mate. He's like, I don't need to be with anyone. I don't need to be with a woman because I know my fated mate is out there for me somewhere. So um, our heroine, her name is Kiki and she's experienced quite a lot of trauma in her life. She actually is absolutely afraid of sex because she's been sexually assaulted many times in her life when she lived on this moon full of slaves and she was one of them. And so she is terrified. She wakes up on this ice planet in this ritual she knew nothing about where the hero was supposed to track her down and claim her as his mate or whatever we actually saw them meet for the first time in book number one this is book number two by the way in the series and so you get to meet him both of them in book number one she wakes up though after what happened in book number one on this ice planet and she's like oh heck no i'm not gonna be under the thumb of a man i'm the, a man is never gonna force me to do that ever again little does she know that is not what the hero is about he wants his queen he wants someone to cherish someone to take care of someone to rule his people with him and that's kiki that is going to be kiki so oh i love him so much and lastly i have a novella monster romance this is viridios the author's note in this one basically says like this is like Groot fan fiction from <laughs> guardians of the galaxy um so you have like a tree creature like Groot. Okay, um, and he lives on this planet. The heroine is a scientist who's been sent to the planet to study it. And she ends up meeting our grouped character, Viridios. And he kind of keeps her as a pet, thinks that she's a pet, but they actually end up falling for each other, even though she's this tiny little human woman and he's this giant tree creature thing. And he obviously hasn't been with anyone because he doesn't know about like that stuff. So <laughs> yeah, um, very interesting. And he can actually like shift into like a tinier form too which is cool. So don't worry, he's not like a giant the whole freaking time. 
anyways, there you have it. Those are some Virgin Hero recommendations. Let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to, and if you would like more recommendations with this trope in it, I'd love to share them. If you don't feel like commenting any of those things, you can leave me a tree emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see you soon in my next one. Bye y'all.